Okay, I went to town and got my parts today. I bought two new grease seals for the wheels. Uh, these are oil bath on these front wheels, but I'm not going to do oil bath when I put it back together. I'm going to pack it with grease like you would a car. There's two reasons for that. <clears throat> One, if you was to have a, a wheel seal that's questionable, you don't want to be pissing oil all over the place and it'll get you put out of service on the side of the road. Um, and two, there's less chance of, uh, you know, leakage in the front and all that other stuff. So I'm going to pack it with grease. This is the kit. Comes with all the greasers, new gaskets, new shims, and new oil seals for the shaft. All new bolts and washers to hold the caps on, which are these. Um, comes with four new caps, two tops, two bottoms, four new pinch bolts and nuts, new thrust, wall, thrust bearings. These are like almost kind of like a roller skate bearing, but they go under the spindle where all the pressure is put up on here so it turns easy. Four new bushings, those are what's wore out. I wish I could have just bought the bushings because and two new pins. 4130 chrome molly. He can tell you which way is top and which way is bottom. And instructions. I don't need instructions. Don't need Japanese instructions either. Alright, well those are all the parts. That's $235 for what you see here. I wish I could have just bought these. I really wish. I had a good lathe, I would make me some. Use like an oil impregnated brass, or these are brass with a plastic liner on the inside. Uh, and you can machine them to fit yourself. Okay, that's about it. I'm gonna start cleaning it up, start putting it together. I'll give you a close up of the parts. There's the bushings, pinch bolts. All new nuts and bolts to hold these caps on. New package of grease circs. All new gaskets for the top plates, which are these. The shims to shim these, to shim the thrust bearings out. You got to make sure these are tight. And these little round things in here, they actually go up inside the spindle when you shove the shaft through. One goes to the top, one goes in the bottom. So when you pump the grease in, it doesn't score it out. Um, and yeah, the two shafts. Those make good driving pins if you need to use a sludge hammer. Them son of a bitches are hard. And new grease seals. Show you the size of that seal. Think about that little dinky one you put in your car. It's about that big around. Okay. That's all for parts. I did get a bucket of grease. I got to pressure wash all of this stuff. I'm not going to pressure wash the truck because it's in the shop and it'll just make an absolute mess. I'll clean that by hand. Um, I am going to reuse those two gaskets. I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to reuse those caps that are in that bucket. I got me a couple of Home Depot parts cleaning buckets, a tub of grease, some parts cleaning gasoline. I can't run my furnace while I clean. I want to blow me up. I can't run my secondary heater. This is for when I got the door open. This blows the heat in the direction I want. But it's 60 degrees here today, so <clears throat> I shouldn't be needing any heat unless it cools off. I'll work on this tomorrow on Christmas Day. Um, you know, it'll probably take me longer to clean all these parts up, clean the grease and oil off them wheels. And, I've still got to uh, pull this side apart yet. I've done it to, I got it down to where I could see the bearings to see if I needed to get bearings and races, but I don't. Um, this one on here has a seal saver, if anybody's familiar with a seal saver. It's a, 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 a shim that goes over the race where the seal rides to give it new material to ride on. I gotta take that seal saver off because they didn't have seal saver wheel seals. I just had to get the, the standard ones, those green ones. 
that's part of the reason why I'm going to pack the bearings in grease. Um, it doesn't make a difference really one way or the other. Um, when they're in oil, you can just see a level. When you got grease, you have to pull the cap off and look and make sure there's grease in there. Um, I will take the caps and uh, drill and tap them for a grease irk, the outside cap. And then uh, that's where we saw where I looked in the oil. I'll drill and tap those, put a grease irk in them. So, you know, when I get the truck greased, I can put, uh, I can pump a, you know, half a dozen pumps of grease in there every now and then. Somebody asked me about the, that's a Holofex ring uh, for the ABS. The sensor detects each one of those gaps. This is the sensor here. Right here. It goes in this hole here. It's hard to see right now. But, uh, you know, it's hard to slide these trucks. Um, it ain't hard to jackknife them. It's just hard to stop them. And it's just hard to slide them in the rain and bad weather. It keeps you from, uh, you know, making bad decisions. All right. Okay. I got the new bushings inserted. And I've gone around the top edge and deburred them, you know, from where you pound them in. Um, I got the bottom one in. Uh, I've got to uh, clean them up with that, get them nice and smooth, kind of size to fit, you would say. And then uh, there's one of the pins I got to get in. And then we'll be on our way to putting this one back together. Okay, there's the pin beat 90% of the way down. I got it greased up pretty good. And then you got your little uh, bearing. It goes seal side up, and then on top of that bearing, you uh, take these little shims until you get all of the play vertically, um, and get it as snug as you can. You know, grease them up real good, then you beat the pin in, guide your pinch bolts, and then uh, put the caps on. Grease the crap out of it and start putting it back together. That's the pin in, pinch bolts in. All I'm down to now is the top and bottom cap. Three bolts and washers each and two grease irks and then we can grease it and start uh, putting all the big stuff back on.